Hey y'all and welcome back to Caitlin's Corner. So as you know, we are celebrating the winter season all month long. And when you think of winter, what do you think about? You might think about those little fluffy white things falling or we'll call them snowflakes. Snowflakes Fall is the title of our book today. So if you're ready, we are going to get started. All right. After the flowers are gone, snowflakes fall, flake after flake after flake, each one a pattern all its own, no two the same, all beautiful. Kind of like humans, no two are exactly alike, and each one is unique and beautiful. Snowflakes fall to sit on gardens and evergreen trees. Ooh, look at all that snow. On the fur, do fur of dogs and the tongues of laughing children. Can you say, ah? Did you used to catch snowflakes with your tongue? I did when I was little. No two the same. All beautiful. Snowflakes fall, drift, and swirl together like the voices of children. Snowflakes fall on a winding river's sandy banks. Snowflakes fall everywhere. On a hilltop town, on its ancient church, on its loved library, and its familiar flag pole. All throughout town, snowflakes fall. When snowflakes fall at night, how can you tell it's night in this picture? Does it look sunny like over here? No, it looks dark and blue. Wailing winds may blow and frantic icy snowflakes scratch the window glass. Branches fly and shadows darken dreams. Snowflakes fall. But then, when we wake in the morning light, surprise, the world shines. Snowflakes fall to quilt meadows, so we see the wandering prints of birds, rabbits, the bobcat at dawn. So the snowflakes have fallen while they were asleep, and so now they can see the footprints of animals that walk through the snow. and the footprints of small red boots making sled paths. Who has small red boots? One of these children probably. And snowmen and forts and fields of snow angels too. Have you ever made a snowman or a snow fort or a snow angel? I love playing in the snow when I was little. And when the snowflakes melt in quiet sun, they feel the chattering streams, flowing, rushing, sending drops of water up to fall as rain. So once ice melts, you know, like an ice in your drink, it turns into water, so it turns back into a liquid. So that liquid from the snowflakes goes into our rivers and our streams. And then the process of the water cycle is that it takes that water up so that it can fall again as rain. So that continues our cycle. Isn't that kind of neat? I think so. On places where the snowflakes had been, where soon flowers will grow again. And when the flowers bloom, the children remember the snowflakes. So, once flowers are blooming, we're into a new season, right? And we remember the children, no two the same, all beautiful. So just like the snowflakes, children and the people of this world, no two are the same, but we're all beautiful and unique in our own way. 
the end. So I hope you enjoyed Snowflakes Fall. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye, y'all.